Hello everyone and welcome back to Talking Doki Literature Club. Now, uh, last time we left off, we we're gonna pick who should we give our poem to. Now, uh, I'm probably gonna choose Sayori first since she's the best, I guess. This is your best one so far. It's really, really nice to see you, Uh, thanks. Mm-hmm. Sayori, you've been a little quiet today. Is everything alright? Eh? Of course. Everything is fine. Maybe I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> Do you want a nap or something? No, that's silly. Don't worry about me, okay? I only want to see smiles on your face. Well, alright. Hey, see, Fury, I'm still a little surprised. I really thought you would try writing your poems like the way Yuri does, or even Natsuki. But in the end, yeah, I guess you're the one who likes this one the, the most. Why? Wait, did the music stop? Oh yeah, it did. What happened? Did the game crash? No, it, it's not. You don't want to get closer with everyone else? Wait. Whoa. I gotta turn this up. What is going on? Of course I do. But that doesn't mean I need to try so hard to impress them. I still understand you, you, you the most, Sayori. I know you have, been, you have to sometimes put up with me. And I have to sometimes put up with you. But we have a wavelength or something. And this is how the poem came out. Sometimes it feels like you're the only one exciting thing in my life. So sometimes it's just easier to write when thinking about you. Sayori? No. See, Fury, I, I don't deserve this. You're too nice to me. Why are you doing this? Sayori has trouble keeping her voice steadily all of a sudden. If you had fun with everyone else instead, this would be so much easier. Sayori! I glance around the room to make sure nobody has noticed this. Sayori, I've probably never said this before. I don't understand what you're feeling right now. Tell me what would cheer you up. Sayori shakes her head. She sniffles and keeps shaking her head. Finally, she gathers herself and puts on a smile. It's nothing, Sayori. It's just a little rain cloud. I'm sorry you had to see that. <laughs> I promise it won't happen again. Just smiles from everyone, okay? That's all that matters. Go play with everyone else. I'm gonna go home a little er little bit early today. Sayori, tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything, Sayori Chips walks out of the classroom humming to herself. Dang. What a nerf. What is wrong with Sayori? Jeez. This one's alright. Alright? Oh yeah. About school session days anyway. I see what you're going for, but it's not just... It's just not really my style. I mean, that's fine. I'm mostly just glad that you're trying a little bit. Well, of course, I, I'm at least trying. Why are you so emotionally invested in my poems anyway? Isn't that more of a compliment to me? Eh? No, gross! It's not like I care. It's just that one of us has to make sure you're not slacking off. Really? Well, what if you ended up just scaring me away? That's um... It's not like you would actually do that. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of fun to hang out here, even if I have to put up with you. Gah! As you can el elbows connect with my stomach. Oh, maybe I wouldn't mind scaring you away after all. I was just joking. Oh, I know. Don't worry, I was too. Ha 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 ha. How the hell do you call that a joke? 
that seriously hurt. Well, maybe it was funny to her. I guess that's kind of the point. I should really just wash my mouth around Natsuki. Let me just turn this down. Anyway, Natsuki holds a poem out to me like nothing even happened. I'll be your beach. Your mind is so full of troubles and fears that diminish your wonders over the years. But today I have a special place, a beach for us to go. A shore reaching beyond the sight, a sea that sparkles with brilliant light. The walls in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow. I'll, beach, I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you dream, they dream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart laugh, heart leap. In a way you thought had left you long ago. Let's bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand. Bathe in sunbeams and hold my hand. Wash your insecurities in the salty sea. And let me see your shine. Let's leave your memories in a footprint trail. Set you free in the windy sail. And remember the reasons you're wonderful. When your pressure leaves to mine. Ugh. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago. But if you let me by your side, your own beach, your own escape, you'll learn to learn yourself again. Yeah, I feel like I kept writing about naked things. So I wanted to write something with nice message for once. Besides, the beach is awesome. Kind of hard to write anything about negative things, but negative. Anything negative about the beach. So you decided to write about the beach first and then came up with the matches later. Well, yeah, it's only because of what happened yesterday. I mean, after you and I realized we kind of wrote about the same thing, she wanted to pick a topic up and have us both write about it or whatever. Uh, you can really see her doing that too. Making us write about a simple topic then trying to impress me by coming up with something all fancy. Well, it's not like I care. I just did it anyway. I mean, I guess mine ended up being kind of metaphorical too. But there's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. At the very least, it was good practice. Let's go for you next. Well done, Sifiri. You've definitely improved your writing over the course of these few days. Has my advice been helpful to you? Yeah, definitely. I'm glad. Sharing out writing like this. It's a lot of more fun and rolling than, than I anticipated. I need to remember to thank Monica. I think we've all felt a little awkward at first, but now it seems like everyone is enjoying sharing their writing and seeing what others think. I guess I can't really disagree. I was afraid this whole thing would be a chore, but it's a great way for me to spend more of the time with all the girls in the club. But it's been fun getting to know everyone and their writing, and I guess doing some writing myself. Well, have you learned anything about yourself, Tifiri? Eh? Well, you know how I like to say that writing is a very personal way to get in touch with yourself. In the end, it doesn't matter if you're a good writer or a bad writer. And even my opinions are just opinions, you know. As always, I believe what's important is explore, exploring and discovering yourself. <coughs> Sorry. That's comforting. I'm kind of afraid of disappointing you in some way or another. Eh? Why me? Well, you're always so sophisticated with your writing and have the most advice to share. Is that so? You read things for a good minute. That must be terrible, eh? For me to have become someone whose opinion is fearsome. How unlikable of me. Fury, it's not as bad as you're making it sound in your head. I just meant that I respect your opinion. I see. I'm sorry that I always really think I come to those kinds of conclusions. I'm just a little too used to it. Overthinking? Being this light. Yuri... Wh what am I saying? I'm sorry I didn't mean to... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring that up. Let's move on. Alright. Do you want to share a poem now? Okay. Here. It's a synthetic beach. Huh. A marvel millions of years in the making. Where the warmth of Earth characteristically meets the surface, and the clean blue sky and expanse of bliss, but beneath grey, rolling clouds and endless enigma, the easiest wood to get lost in is, 
is one where everything can be found. <coughs> one can only blind build a sand castle where the sand is wet, but where the sand is wet, the tide comes. Will it gently lick at you for the shelter you give him? Or will it will a sudden wave send you crashing down in the blink of an eye? Either way, the outcome is the same. Yet we still build sand castles. I stand where the foam wraps around my ankles. Where my toes crush it through the sand. The salty air is metaphysic. The beef is gently powerful. I see my toes in the ultimate boundary lines, tempted by the foam tendrils. Turn back and I bend my piece to a note at the surge at the shore. Shift forward and I return to Earth forevermore. Dang, that's pretty nice. Um I'm aware that the beach is kind of an end anything to write about, but I did my best to take a metaphorical, metaphorical, metaphorical approach to it. Yeah, Natsuki already told me about it. Natsuki already told me about it. Sh she did? She didn't say anything weird, did she? She just wanted us to write about the same topic again. As opposed to better compare the difference between the writing styles or two processes. <coughs> Anyways, it was her idea. Knowing her, it's not surprised that she want to do something like that. I just want to show off. It's not like I have a particular interest in her writing style. I just want it for request, but well I suppose it's not so bad to write about something simple on occasion. It can be refreshing, you know. It's good for me to come by task once in a while. Yeah, I think I agree. Thanks for sharing. Now, that's from Monica. Hi C Fury. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform the festival? Well, being this club is one thing, but performing a bunch of people, I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. Whatever you do, I'm sure you'll turn out great. It would also make me feel happy to see. <laughs> anyway, let's talk, take a look at today's poem. Sure. I'll let Monica take the poem while holding my hands. It's pretty good. Makes me think of Sayuri, like the other one you wrote. You two are a little like the, the dynamic duo. Aha, thanks. Kind of an, kind of exaggerating it. Yeah, probably. But you you do spend a lot of time with her, even, even in this club, don't you? Then again, I don't blame you for being a little shy. I'm not shy, it's just... Aha, I'm just teasing. You know, it takes a bit, it takes a bit of time to make friends with everyone. But you and Natsuki are super interesting people, so don't be afraid to give them their share of time. Uh, you can talk to me every now and then too. I'm not like unapproachable or anything, am I? Uh, no, it's not like that. I'm just still getting used to being here, that's all. Yeah, I'm sorry if I was putting pressure on you something. I really didn't mean it like that. No, don't worry. I get what you're saying. Well, alright. Anyway. I'll share my poem with you now, alright? Uh, alright! Lady who knows everything An old tale tells of a lady who wanders earth A lady who knows everything A beautiful lady who has found every answer All meaning, all purpose And all that was ever sought And here I am, a feather Lost to drift the sky, victim of the currents of the wind. Day after day, I search. I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. When all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all in that remains. The last dim star glimmering in the twill sky. Until one day, the wind ceases to blow. I fall, and I fall, and fall, and fall even more. Gentle as I feather. A dry creel, expressionless, but a hand catches me between the thumb and burn, forefinger, the hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I'm thinking. Before I can speak, she responses in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose, and we see only the impossible. I am not your legend. Your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. 
you know, I feel like I'm learning and looking for answers are the sort of things that give me give life meaning. Not to get too flustered, philosophical or anything, but it was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I see. I never really put much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone is first writing about things that are more sad than happy. Ahaha, <laughs> are you surprised? I mean, if everyone was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you know that better than anyone. You mean one-dimensional? Ah, uh, yeah, that. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you, are you ever too shy? Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're too afraid it's not that good? It can be really disheartening to get lukewarm response to something you put so much effort to. But if you find un other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good or okay or bad, they'll want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. It's more, more encouraging that that way and it will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club. Ugh! It's almost like having your own little literature club. Don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out? Hold on a second. Is it just me or did you just something? Did you say something strange just now? Eh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. But you deviated. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. Catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? No, even Louis is in the mood to it. Uh, stagnant air is commonly foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Sayori is in here. Ah, seems you're right. <sighs> Sayori always helps letting the mood a bit. It's a bit, doesn't it? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to anyway? I thought she went to pee. That's okay, please show some decency. Oh, come on. Yeah, she actually wasn't feeling too well and she went... Ah, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? Oh, she's just alright. Seriously? Of all the times to not go home with her, you, you pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for you to be old lovely Dovey. Ah, no. First of all, stop me sending my friendship with Sayuri. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I don't, didn't really want to force it. Oh? That curious expression coming from Yuri, of all people. That curious expression coming from Yuri, of all people. Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier and everything is fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the face preparation, so let's decide what everyone will do, will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right, Asika will be making cupcakes. But we need, might need a lot of our own different flowers. Can you handle that all yourself, Asuki? Chan is accepted. And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the party pamphlets. So Yuri will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri, Yuri can. Uh, um. Guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I. Uh, I'm useless. No, no, this is not it, not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know. Uh, now Nasuki is pouty too. Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never get an opinion, but I can tell things that are even harder on you when she's not around. Ah, that may be the case. But if I can also be a little of mine, I would, I would grow as a person. So Yuri, you have, you have beautiful writing, you know? So you should make some banners and make sure to help the atmosphere. A atmosphere? Um, about that, I... I love atmosphere! Yuri just pushes on the chair as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding at, to herself. Your mind's already racing, I see. That's great. 
You'll be what? You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that's just leaves you to Yuri, the one who is truly useless. Ah, <laughs> don't say that. In fact, both Nasuke and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would be probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out, as always. I would be really appreciative of that. Ah, that's what it is you think I spent the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion of that? Ah, I suppose I would mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give you. It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice, you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Nasuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall Nasuki, he mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. So if you might not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nonsense. So therefore, he may be more sensitive with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. How, how can we be to make so make a different decorations anyway? So it's more like you're just making it because for safety too. What? What are you saying? Uh, it will be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't? Just what do you think? Guys, guys! Let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Sifri to, it's up to, Sifri to decide how he'd like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really got to take chances any time with me yet, you know? So I'm sure he isn't interested in... You literally just said... I'm surprised as well. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I was just saying though. Jeez, can we just settle this already? Yeah, Sifri, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Ah, of course. Hmm, very well. In that case, don't look fair at me. But of course, I'm going with... Oh, goodness. Um... I guess... I'll try... Sayori, I guess? I mean... If it's going to be anyone, then I prefer helping Sayori. I mean, we're helping... We're already nervous and... But Monica said, Monica said that Sorry was helping her. Jeez, do you really hate us that much? No, no, sorry I didn't mean for this to be difficult. Just think of the club, okay? Goodness. <laughs> Nasuki, Yuri, or Monica? Well, I mean, Monica hasn't, hasn't really, I've, I haven't been with Monica for the whole game and I mean I guess I could try Monica but I guess I could probably help be helping Monica. Yay pick me hold on a second Oh the music stop again is something, is there something wrong? Yeah Monica you're the one who needs the least help out of all of us eh but I agree with Nasuki. Not only is your ombo already more suitable for one person, but you already have Sayori as well. But Sifri was the one who... Ah, uh, that doesn't matter. You were the one who scared him into picking you in the first place. You're the club president, Monica. You're supposed to be... You're supposed to make responsible for the change for the club. Monica, you shouldn't let any ulterior motive, motives interfere with this decision. Ulterior motives? What are you saying, Yuri? In fact, it sounds like you guys are the ones who with ulterior motives. Excuse me? Otherwise, it would be it would have been into such a big deal in the first place. That's so com that's completely false, Monica. I like the music, though. It's really fun. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of work to do, you know. You won't do as good as the job if you won't make us work alone. Ah, uh, maybe that's true. I think, think of the club, Monica. If you want our apprentice, then we need to probably distribute our resources. Um, ah, uh, so are you going to do the right thing, President? Okay, okay, I get it. <sighs> Standing boss logic up for Sifri to help one of you, one of you two. So, I guess that's what we'll do. Do you have a preference, Fury? Oh no! Anasuki or Yuri? Ah, uh.
Tatsuki, uh, she's pretty nice. She's cute and uh, kawaii desu. Yuri, on the other hand, is probably mature, big boobs. Uh, I guess legal. I don't know about Natsuki though. Uh, I guess I'll just go with Natsuki. Well, baking sounds like it could be fun, and you guys made it sound like a lot of work, so I could probably use two people. Don't worry, baking is a ton of fun. You definitely agree. Eh? Just a minute, you were saying that. That's because. Never mind, okay? Well, anyway, you'll be fine by yourself, right, Yuri? Of course. I'm used to you after all. That's good. If you know Yuri's being moderate, monodramatic, it's hard, hard to not feel bad. So that's everything okay, right? Anything else we need to talk about? No, I think that's it. Alright, you guys excited? Yes! Everything is except the performance is gonna be awesome. I don't think that really counts. What about you, Sipiri? Me? Ah, I guess you could say I'm, I'm interested in to see how it turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Yuri? Yuri? She's still sulking. As the kid starts pouting too. Not, I mean, it's not that big of a deal or anything. Well, it might not be just that. I think that Yuri might just feel a little unappreciated in general. Oh, yeah, I forgot. She's kind of unlikable. That's the reason why she went to the club. Oh, no, I think I made a, I think I made a bad decision here. Having to come up with something to feel for her to do and then nobody offered to help, that doesn't mean... Uh, Natsuki glances back and forth between everyone with a bullet expression. Look, Natsuki goes over and puts her hand down on Yuri's shoulder. Yuri, you really are the most sensitive one here. And you're going to help make the event a lot more fun and welcoming. I mean, the cupcakes will probably help a lot too, but you're going to make the hands with special. That'll be the more really important That'll be really important for the way that people feel during the performances, so you need to stop being dumb and give yourself a little more credit. Hasuki releases her hands and turns around to face the other direction. You didn't really mean that, did you? Um, not really, but <laughs> you is the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken aback by Hasuki's words. Hasuki of all the people to say such encouraging things. But I begin to understand that Suki was trying to sound like Sayori, even if it didn't work perfectly. I can tell that she tried to say something your Say Sayori would say at a time like this. That Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. I'm sorry for being dumb. I'm going to do my best. And all of us are going to make it a really great event. Yeah. Yeah. I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, it's starting to more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Okay, but I'm staying here a bit longer. I barely got to do any, any really today, so fair enough, there's nothing wrong with it. Everyone breaks up their things. So they follow Monica and Yuri out the door as they chat between each other. Oh, um, where are you going? Eh? We still need to figure out our plans for this weekend. You really when got gotten home and realized that you didn't even have a way to contact me. Oh, that's true. I have no idea how that slipped in my mind. Gee, it's a good thing I stopped you. I'm giving you my number, okay? This music is kind of... not so keyish. <clears throat> um, it better not make you wear anything. Why do I do that? Hmm. Natsuki gives, her, gives me her number. Okay, I'm coming over on Sunday. I'll bring all the ingredients. Wait, you're coming to my house? Well, yeah. What's wrong with that? I mean, I just figured out that since I'm the one helping, I would be going to your house. Yeah, right. Like I could have a, like I could have a guy over my house, but that would kill me. Really? That's kind of strict if you ask me. Yeah, how do you think I feel? I can't do anything with my, when my dad is home. Anyway, I just needed to complain for a second. We have to each other's we have each other's numbers now. That's all I need. That's all I needed from you. 
I guess I'll text you when I'm coming over. Alright, bye bye me. Yeah, I'm really gonna show you why I love Becky so much. And so you better look forward. You better look forward for, to it. Oh, did you say you were going, just going to give me the dirty work? Well, I was just saying that. It's not that I could act like in front of everyone. That's that I was looking forward to this. Wait, really? Well, kind of. I just just because I never got to bed with someone else before. That's all it is. So, all right, I get it. Sorry for interrupting. Anyway, I'll be heading out now. See you on Sunday. Ah, uh, never mind. I believe this. This is going to be in my house. Fancy is going to be coming to my house on Sunday. Even though I, I would have preferred to do this with Sayori, my anxiety is so shoots to the roof. I guess I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point. But who knows what might what might end up happening when we are outside of school. Even when she even told me she was looking forward to it, I shake my head. Why do I feel nervous as your fans? Why do I feel nervous that Sayori finds salt upon this? It's not like I feel feel that that way about each other. Besides, like Monica said, this is about the club. I have nothing to do or about. If I just go with them, then I'll have a good time. It's already Sunday. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Natsuki's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. I wonder if we should act differently, any different when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, she's been texting me a lot. We sent each other after exchanging numbers to double check, but we sent each other one of we sent each other one after exchanging numbers to double check. But it turned out into a conversation. She's almost a different person. She's almost a different personality on the pro, using tons of voices and cute languages. That reminds me of a friend that I have. <laughs> She also really likes complaining about things, but I kind of saw that coming. Yeah, that... This line really likes complaining about things. Reminds me of a particular person that I know. But putting Nasuke aside, I haven't really heard anything from Sayori since she left the club early the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind between what Sayori said and what Monica said. Is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feeling aside when she might need it? Oh, I got the safe. It's gone quiet somehow. I decide to visit Nas I decide to visit Sayori before Nasuki comes over. But then ask her to repeat her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering myself again. We used to play so much after that we made it it's a habit of simply entering inside the houses like we're a family. The house is quiet, so it's anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. So it's strange of her not to run down and greet me. I help up to her bedroom where I finally found her. Sayori? Oh god, what's with the piano? I'm actually, uh, piano is actually my favorite instrument of all the orchestras, you know. And um, most of the time, I probably cry when piano is playing, like now. So it can be a bit, you know. Emotional for me. Uh, oh goodness. What? What is this scribble? Uh, November. I guess it takes place on November, but why is it scribble? Hi, C Fury. I sit down in her room. C Fury's posture is small, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't had. You haven't come here. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Uh, I guess you're right. It's been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Sayuri's so so room is a mess. 
Sayeri's room is as messy as it's always been. I also realized the same such animals and will decorations that she has for years now. <laughs> if she came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I ended up cleaning, cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to be with Tishinazuki today? Yeah, but... Wait, how did you know that? Sayu had already left by the time we decided that last meeting. Marika told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Ah, that's true. But what about you? Yeah, what about Sayori? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course, but I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to beat up or anything. Ah, so it's just me and Nasuki then. Yep, there's no silence between us. Sayori stands, stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally got to the point. I just wanted to see how you're doing. After you left on Friday, when something's wrong, you can hide it from me. I know you too well, so... Sorry smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, Sifiri. Eh? Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so big, I accidentally expressed my feelings. If I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have been even been thinking about me right now. But this is it's just my punishment incident. Getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants me to torture me. <laughs> Sayori, I got sorry by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something is happening to you. There's nothing no other explanation to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. <laughs> so he gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Sea Fury. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. See what? Why are you talking about Sayori? <laughs> you're really just going to make it say, aren't you, Sifiri? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I already had really bad depression my whole life. Oh god. Sayori, oh, Sayori, even Sayori. <laughs> I'm shading, I'm giving out some tears, so oh, sorry about that. Even Sayori, even Sayori. Reminds me of a friend. Uh, did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because both days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and carry to waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it, what, that's what it feels like. And then why I just want to make everyone happy without every, anyone worrying about me. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible Sally kept this from me the entire time I've known her? Did she really want so badly for me to just not think about her? Why, Sayori? Eh? Why is it that you've never told me about this? It's almost like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because I, if I, if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you, even even if there's so much that I could do. I've got to try a little harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, Sifiri. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because I told you, then you would have to waste effort carrying me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. So it's sad, it feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bad big swung against my head. Ahaha, <laughs> that's why I always wanted so badly for you to make friends between everyone else. Helping everyone to be happy together is the best thing for me. But then, I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone else in the club, it's like a spirit going through my heart. 
So that's why, that's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. Ahaha, <laughs> you're the right, you're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings as well. I don't say fear, Sayori, but I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I do. No, Sifu, there's nothing. There's nothing at all. The only thing that I could help, have help if is if it could. Uh, the only thing that could help, the only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always had was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Two start to tell Sayori's face. I made you join the Lucy Club because I was selfish. And I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I once grab once again grab Sayori's soldiers. This time I put her into a tight embrace. Aha! See Fury. Sayori, I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make him friends with everyone else, that it, then that's just a bonus. But please, never underestimate how much, how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other the way. See Fury, Sayori isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori arms remain at her side. She stares. She's stopping next to my ear. No, don't do this to me. Please don't do this. See Fury. I. Sayori barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Uh, I better say. But all I want is for her to know that I. All I want is for her to know that I care. If you have. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then, uh, then you have to let me to be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to be changed. I'll make things, I'll make this feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Sarif really puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's really all scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Sifiri. The only time I'm not feeling and nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm. And that's really scary too. Sorry, let's me go. And she, she does, as she does so, I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah, it's going to be fun, right? Yeah, how would you like me? How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Uh, um, uh, it's what I want. I promise. I, I think that would be nice then. Yeah. Sorry, wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of, of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, I don't. Please don't. If you did that, then I really will for, will forgive you. But. So much time for talking to me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come online and help out? Would be fun. The supervisor sorry shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be a very good for me today. You understand, right? Uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my best hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right. I'll look forward to it. I could say goodbye to Sari and exit the house. Oh goodness, <laughs> well, let me check the time, uh, uh, I guess we have to stop there, uh, thank you for watching, I'll see you uh, in the next part or episode, goodbye!